So a few weeks ago, I actually launched my real-time API AI agent that calls different places to gather information. So OpenAI released an update to this. I'm going to show you that article later, but let's listen to one of the agent call I did today is just to try to book my dental appointment to call different companies, right? Let's just listen to this 30 seconds and then we go into the code and stuff, listen to more conversations. So let's just hear this now. Thank you for calling Lumia Dental. This is Thais. How may I help you? Hi there. How, is this Lumia Dental? Yes, it is. Cool. Um, I just, I'd love to know if there are any appointments available for Friday. Would this be for a cleaning and a checkup, or did you have a specific concern? Oh, it's it's just for a cleaning and a checkup, and Fridays just really work best for me. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, this coming Friday, we have a 9.45 or a 12.30. Oh, that's great. Um, I'll, I'll call back to confirm. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for your time. Take care. You're welcome. Okay, so that was it. So you can see here... Uh, we did actually capture the data here. I'm going to show you how I set this up later. So we captured that there was an appointment available and we got the company name, right? So that's perfect. Uh, yeah, uh, we're going to listen to a few more. So my percentage was pretty high here, but let's go over to the code and listen to a few more conversations, shall we? So the new changes to the real-time API is actually now you can build speech-to-speech -speech experiences with five new voices. And as you probably hear, if you compare it to my last video, these are much more expressive and steerable. So they sound more natural. That was something I requested, right? And the other big thing is we are lowering the price by using prompt catching. This is also a big deal. So cash text inputs discounted 50% and inputs discounted 80%. So this is also a pretty big deal, right? And if you go over to the platform here, uh, they haven't really updated so much here. But like I said, five new voices. I tested everyone. Uh, I'm not going to go through everyone in this video, but uh, they are very good. Uh, I'm going to be doing more of those stuff in the upcoming future. But uh, I think there are five new voices, right? Uh, like I said. And uh, Other than that, there's no big changes. You don't have to change anything to get the, the, the prompt catching. That's, that's autonomous. So that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, you can see the voices down here if you are really interested. But let's head over to my setup now. Here you can see what we just heard. So this was from a company name, available time. I also kept tried to capture other important information. Uh, it doesn't, didn't really have anything. But if you look uh, over my head here, you can see uh, we did one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we did eight conversations, so two failed and six completed. So we're going to listen to a few of them, but first let me just show you uh, a bit of the setup here. Uh, so here you can see, uh, here is where I put in the name of the place. Uh, I'm going to show you that why I do that. Uh, here is where I put in my number. Uh, I have this code, uh, I think I have this code uploaded to my uh, community GitHub if you just want access to my code, what I'm using. But you could also build your own. You can find a link in the description if you want to become a member to get the exact code I use to set this up. If we look further up here now, you can see uh, the system message. This is very important in this uh, setup. So I have some kind of bio. So I have, uh, your name is Julie. You're a woman from California. Uh, we have some knowledge. I didn't add any knowledge here now. I just kept it blank because I just wanted to ask for the appointment. And here is where I feed in the contact name from that JSON we have. So we could, in theory, set up many different contacts here, right? So you're going to start with uh, introduce yourself with a simple, hi there, is this at company name, right? So in our case, this was Lumia Dental. And you can just change this up. And we have some basic instructions here, like uh, ask for appointment on Friday. If they say yes, that's great. I will call back to confirm. If no, no problem. Thank you for your time. Say goodbye, hang up. So pretty simple instructions. And what was interesting, I don't know if you heard it in the intro introduction, but uh, they asked, uh, is this for a cleaning and a checkup? And she said, yeah, yeah, it's for a cleaning and a checkup. And in another conversation you will hear soon, they ask, is this for the 8th, Friday the 8th? I didn't give any information about that, but just played along and said, yeah, yeah, that it's for Friday the 8th, right? So that is also, that's something good. You can see voice personality. I have always used filler words, uh, be very positive, polite speak very fast and uh, this is my voice configuration 
So there's some tons of stuff we can dive into uh, in probably another video. And the voice I used here was the Shimmer voice. Uh, but there are other picks uh, you can do if you uh, want that. And my goal is just to complete the instruction. Uh, I want to show you one more thing here in the code before we listen to some conversations. And that is what kind of information we want to capture, right? So uh, I want to capture the company name, appointment available on Friday, other information. So for this we are using structured outputs from OpenAI. And we are also using Whisper. So you can see we have conversations here. So all conversations get translated into text by using Whisper. And from that uh, transcription we can use... Uh, uh, yeah, structured outputs to extract the information we want and that is the pipeline and it's working superb I'm very surprised how well it works actually and it's super well uh, designed to kind of capture only the data we want as I probably showed in my other video uh, but now I think we're just gonna listen to a few more conversations we're gonna look at the data and yeah this is uh, I kind of like this stuff. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so let's listen to the one where we called Studio Smiles. Uh, they didn't have any appointments. They were fully booked. Uh, but I thought, thought this one was a bit funny. I think. Uh, let me say eight seven. Uh, so let's listen to this. I think there are some music in the intro here, if I correctly remember. Let's hear that. This call is being recorded. Hi there. Is the Studio Smiles? <laughs> so you can hear the agent answer to the. Uh, yeah, the auto recording there. Good morning, Studio Smiles Dental Office. Orca speaking. Oh, hey. I was just wondering, like, do you guys have any appointments available um, for Friday? Let me see. At the moment, Friday is fully booked. Oh, no worries at Friday. all. Thank you for checking. Um, I'll, um, that's totally fine. I'll have a look at my schedule and maybe I'll call back to book something else. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay. thank you so much. I'd bye. No problem. Thank you one. so much for your help. Bye. That was very polite. Uh, but we got the information we wanted. It wasn't the best conversation, if you ask me, but, uh, if we look at the data, I guess we just did, uh, that was the transcription. Uh, if you look at the data, they did not have any appointments, they were fully booked. So uh, we got the information we needed, even though the conversation was a bit strange. Uh, but now I want to listen to the favorite conversation of the day. And I think that was with Expert Dental. So they had some availables. Uh, and listen for this, because this was very interesting. Because, uh, again, uh, I did mention I was a new patient. I did mention what kind of exam I wanted, right? So let's listen to this one uh, in the full. It's like a minute or something. So let's just enjoy this one. Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. Hi there. Um, is this Expert Dental? <laughs> Again, you can hear the agent is answering to this uh, strange recording uh, advisory here. Uh, but uh, it, it continues. Crystal, how may I help you? Hey, um, I was wondering, do you have any appointments available for Friday? Are you a current patient? Um, I'm actually a new patient. Do you have anything available? I, I thought just that was interesting because I have not mentioned anything in the description that is a new patient. So that was just something it did, uh, like improv, I guess, improv improvisation. Uh, so that, that was pretty good. I like that. Well, we have two locations, so you do have a preference in which location you wanted to come to? Um, whichever location has, like, an appointment open, honestly. Does that work? Um, yeah. What are you looking to come in for? We just like a regular exam and cleaning. Yeah. Again, this was, like, something I didn't mention. It's just, a, like, a regular exam and cleaning. Nothing was mentioned in the system message about that. So, again, I thought that was pretty good. No. Um, yeah. see how everything's doing. Okay. I can definitely help you with that. Amazing. Um, do you have any appointments on Friday then? On Friday the 8th are we looking at? Yes. Friday the 8th. Exactly. So this was the one I mentioned before. She asked Friday the 8th. Uh, I didn't mention anything about that. But uh, I guess it just assumed that we meant Friday the 8th since that's the next Friday. Uh, again, I don't know. I think you just played along here. Thank you. 
Okay, yes. Friday the 8th, I can do a 9 a.m., a 10, or a 2 p.m. Awesome. Um, those times work. Uh, I'll call back to confirm then. Thank you so much for your help. Yeah, you're very welcome. No problem. Thanks a bunch. Have a great day. Bye. So that was it. I, I thought it was pretty good, right? And if you look at the information we capture again, uh, we found out, yes, there are some available times, 9, 10, or 2 p.m. Uh, we should have probably got some information here that there were two different locations. I think that was pretty important, but we didn't get that. Other than that, I think this was the best one I did today. But again, I gotta come back to write, is this ethical, is this fine, uh, or is this just uh, natural now? And this will be very uh, common in like a few years. Uh, my guess is on that this is going to be very common. So this is why I'm experimenting with this. And a big spot up to the people answering the phone, right? Uh, they are very polite. And even though the voice sounds a bit strange, they always do a good job. So even all conversations I called, they were very professional. No one did question anything. So that was a bit... I don't know if they heard there was something strange or they just... Uh, where we just very professional and polite, right? Uh, but like I said before in the previous video too, uh, the ethical question here is a bit strange, but I just think this is going to get more uh, common as uh, these s systems get more yeah, used, I guess. So someday maybe you call an office that doesn't have a human that answers. It could be like another agent that takes your rec... Uh, yeah your recommendation or your request so then does it matter at all but it's super interesting and it's not going to be the final video we're going to do on this i have some ideas around tool calling uh, other agentic systems using this so if you want to look more into that be sure to uh, you can give this video a like and you can just follow me i will be doing more of this uh, coming up i have some pretty interesting stuff I might do soon and uh, that is kind of in the testing phase now so look out for that in the next coming weeks other than that yeah pretty interesting stuff it's getting better <laughs> that's just my conclusion and even though it feels bad i think this is just gonna get more and more common so uh this is just very early adoption and yeah very interesting stuff and uh, i just want to mention once again how happy i am with the pipeline for this it's working pretty good and even with the structured outputs from OpenAI uh, it's working good and with the reduction we got in cost now because of prompt uh, prompt caching uh, it's becoming more viable and the voice sounds better so uh, I thought it was just an interesting update hope you enjoyed it and uh, look out for more like I said thank you for tuning in have a great day if you want to become a member link in the description see you again soon